How I received unexpected five million by putting my name in Psalm 23. I've done this before on this channel. Many people took it for granted because you always feel that and eh, she's a content creator, it's just a content because she wants money. No. When it comes to prayer channel, it is a different ball game. This is not a skincare channel or a beauty channel or hair growth channel. I can't come here and joke with you. Spiritually, there are things that has worked for me. I come here to share with you these things that has worked for me for so long. Even the people who consult me, it has worked for them. This one, there are many testimonies that has come out of this prayer in this channel. In this channel. So, I still wonder why people tell me they are broke. They don't have money to pay rent. A man actually testified that he put his name in Psalm 23 and he got the money to pay his rent. You can scroll down my community post. I screenshot it and place it there. Even in our live stream, you can play our live stream and see many testimonies on our different prayers. Even this. So when I come here to tell you do this, don't think I'm just telling you. If it does not work for you, because you don't believe. Because there are many people, you tell them to carry out a spiritual exercise. They doubt and doubt they don't believe. Why would you expect this to work for you when you don't believe? I cannot have faith for you. If you know you need money badly, instead of you to go begging and borrowing, it is downgrading to start begging and borrowing. They look down on you. They intimidate you. You don't even have a say. Why not do this? So in case you miss that video, I'm going to tell you how to do it again. Do it and see the difference in your life. I do it once every week and whenever I do it, I receive money. But the reason why I came here to share this is because I received 5 million free without labor. This is huge. In Nigeria now, you should know that 5 million is huge amount of money without labor. I receive more than that from my business at times, but I labored for that. But this, I did not labor for it, just as a free gift from unexpected source, a person that has forgotten me for years. This is one thing about this. Do not play with the words of the Lord. Everything in the Bible, do not joke with it. So if you don't have hard copy, go and get. Internet Bible cannot do this. I also have a Bible on my laptop. Yes, on my phone, but that is not it. It cannot replace this. Get a Bible, no matter how expensive it is in your country, it will worth it. The words of the Lord. See, even if you can't take this to a pastor or a man of God to bless it, because God's word is in this, it is blessed. The only connection, the only way you can hear from God most times is through your Bible, except you are spiritually inclined. And God can give you revelation. I hope you understand. So do this. Please do not doubt. Get a sheet of paper or any kind of paper at all. Write your name. Write your name. Your real name and your soul name. Please, if you are married, you can use your name and your husband's soul name. But if you are divorced, use your father's name. Follow instructions to get, to get your results. Okay? Write your name and your soul name, not your business name. Most times when I do this every week, I get lots of financial favor. You see customers coming to buy, they will tell you, take this, take this, take that. This is beautiful. When you enjoy without much labor, you must not kill yourself. Don't think it is too much labor that makes you rich. The money can also come from your business, but use your name. Whenever you are praying to God, use your name. From birth, not your guy's name, your stage name, your work name, your business name. Use the name that your parents gave to you on the day of your naming ceremony. That is the name. Okay? So write your name and your son name. Then under it, you write down the exact amount of money you need and for what purpose. Don't tell God I need 100 million. Don't tell God I need 100 million because that is a greedy prayer. Know that God cannot bless you with 100 million or above, but if you need something urgently, before you do this prayer, take your pen and paper. 
I'm not with my pen. Calculate everything you truly need. You check your rent, maybe your children's school fees, maybe your feeding. Calculate everything you truly need, not want. Not because you want to buy a car, you can live without a car. Except you want that car for commercial purpose. Your need, not want. Please, follow instruction. There are other prayers you can pray to get your want. Then God will bless you at his own time. But this is for urgent need. That kind of urgent need that makes you to borrow and beg. Okay? Write down the exact amount of money that you need under your name and your surname. So your name, your surname on the same line. This is not lined. Then under it, the amount you need. Then under that, what you need them for. Write them down. Yes. And when you are done, you get your Bible. Do this once every week for a broader financial flow. Open to Psalm 20 TV. I'm going to use the good news version, but use any version of the Bible that you have, okay? So when you write it down, when you write it down, you open your Bible. See, if you are doing this once in a week, do not use the same one you used last week for this week. Every new week with different need, whether you got the money or not. If you did not get the money, after the end of the week, burn this paper, throw it away, and write a fresh one, a fresh request. Okay? So when you write it down, then you get Psalm 23 and read, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right path, as he has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. This is good news. The better version for this is King James. You start praying. You hold this and start praying. Oh Lord, you are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. You are my king. Because you are my king, oh Lord, bless me with all that I need. Hold this. Bless me with all that I need. Oh Lord, bless me with all that I need. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I pray that you bless me with all I need. Bless me with all I need, O oh Lord. This is what I need. I cannot lack. You promise to lie me down in green pasture. Oh Lord, lie me down in abundance. Oh Lord, send me overflowing words. Oh Lord, send me overflowing words. Oh Lord, make my cup overflow. Oh Lord, make my bank account overflow. Oh Lord, send me more than enough. In the name of Jesus, I will have enough for myself and to help people in need. Oh Lord, send me overflowing words. You are my shepherd. I can never lack anything good. I can never lack and start borrowing. Oh Lord, help me out. Oh Lord, prepare my blessing in the presence of my enemy. Meaning that God will give you a blessing that your enemies cannot stop. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Yes, that means that table represents your blessing. And no enemy can stop it. They will see it in their presence, but they cannot stop it. Give me, O oh Lord, unstoppable blessing. In the name of Jesus, you anoint your head with oil. Oil of wealth. Oil of prosperity. Oil of abundance. O oh Lord, send me money. O oh Lord, give me abundant blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, you must not use my words. Don't try to cram what I'm saying. Don't try it. Use your words, okay? Then, when you are done, you drop it on the psalm and cover it up. Do this prayer just once, but leave this on the psalm for one week, for seven days. So if you started Tuesday this week, you will remove it Tuesday next week. Seven days. And when you remove it, you put another, you write another. Okay, that does not mean that you will not read your Bible again. You can open it. Of course, open it. Read your Bible. Psalm 23 or any other Psalm. When you are done, put it back. Let it be on that Psalm for one week. 
But always learn to thank God for that money you are asking for. Thanking God shows that you believe you will get it. Let it be like this for seven days. Before that seven days, something will happen if you believe in God. God does not joke with his words. The word of the Lord is a covenant. He does not go back on his words. So do this and see how things will change in your life. You will see drastic changes in your life. You will see money coming to you once every week so that that week will be full of abundance and financial blessing. Money will come from different directions. I don't know how the money will come, but it will come. God knows how he will bless you. Do this and you will never borrow again. Anytime you need money, do this. This is what I do. And I have other prayers for abundance, but this one is sure. Okay? Pray on it once in a week and leave the paper on the sand. Read other scriptures. It doesn't mean you have to focus on only that psalm, but make sure it is here. After seven days, discard it and write another. You will see how you will improve financially. You will improve financially. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure you turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. God bless you.